Jonathan and welcome to my channel Jonathan's Stunning Painting and Stuff. If you're new here, welcome um, or if, and if you're coming back to me, welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing a review video of um, a, some, a new tray um, device uh, that I just um, purchased from a company in the UK called Lunia 3D. I've already talked about these in a couple of other videos, you know, so just um, just to go um, over really what they offer and me using the device and, you know, my, the pros and cons and everything and whether I think this is device could be useful or not. Um, this is going to be an honest review. Um, I'm not being paid by Lunia at all. I don't have any affiliation with them at all. I've literally bought these um, because I thought they looked quite cool. Um, they are a sponsor for our UK event, Fam Along UK. They very kind of gave away a couple of sets, you know, um, for, for our giveaways, you know, so, and that's how I found out about them, really. I wasn't lucky enough to win them, but I thought they looked quite cool, so I thought I'd buy some. So, the ones I have bought today, I mean, I thought I might need more than the basic, which was three boxes. Um, and a tray. So what I'll, I'll go over what, exactly what they are and what they do. Okay, so you get um, a drill tray. So just like a standard drill tray. I will I will do this better when I've got the overhead camera. Um, and you get however many of these boxes that you want. Now these boxes store the drills. So you they have a little trap door in them which opens and closes and you can slot them into the end of your drill tray like that and then you can open the trap door and the drills come out pouring out and um yes yeah, so and then you can just um, use the drills and then when you're finished you can open the trap door again and the drills go pouring back into the box and then you just close it sorry i just um that's it, and then out it comes. I was a bit careless there. That it's normally fine. I just, uh, <laughs> you know, just, um, just I was a little bit careless because I was filming. But yeah, so, so, I um, so I think the best thing to do is for for me to switch the camera view now. Um, I'm gonna try and angle it so you get as much of an idea while I'm doing it as you can, and. Um, yeah, yeah, so um, I've got a section of confetti to do here because these are really made for confetti because it's for when you're frequently changing colours over that they're the most useful because you can swap the boxes in and out quite easily. Um, so I've got a lovely section of confetti here, as I said in my Babylon Part 2 progress video, I think, um, that I thought this would be brilliant um, to do this on. So. I've not got every colour because I only had 10 of these boxes and I was using frequently repeating colours across this row. Um, but So I've not got every colour in um, in these boxes so some I will need, need to use. But I'll, I'll use all these colours and then switch between them, see how easy it is. I have used these for a few days, you know, on and off, you know, just so I can get an idea of the, of the pros and cons so I can better inform you you know, how well these are working rather than me doing a blind test, you know, because I don't think that's a fair review because I need to have been using these to see, you know, how good they are and everything and what the pros and cons are. Okay, so I'll switch the camera view now and we'll get on with this, okay? Okay, so I'm just giving you a slightly different um, view angle to get, so you can see a bit more, hopefully, um, and my hand is getting in the way a bit less. If you prefer the overhead view, um, for future videos, just please give me feedback in the comments because I'm still quite new at this at learning what works and what doesn't work. Um, so yeah, so anyway, let's get on with the review. So the it comes with um, this tray. Yeah, so standard tray, you can choose the colour of all the boxes and the tray within reason. I suppose it depends what colours they've got in their filaments for their 3D printing. because These are all 3D printed. It, it looks and feels quite similar to the Admos Est um, trays, but I will I will elaborate as we go on. It's got kind of a um, 
I don't know if you can see in the video, you see you've got this um, smooth kind of angled edge at the edges rather than a straight down edge so the drills will kind of fall back into the middle um, and then these these really nice solid lines uh, for the drills and obviously this little gap here for the box and this little thing so it's easy to get your box out okay so and then like I said you've got these little boxes now I've labeled them with my sticker machine um, because I am um, because I I'm just like that. I guess I, I was wondering how you would tell the difference between what is in what box. Like when you're doing a bit of confetti, like would you decide that I'm going to have all these colours for this particular square in these boxes and then you decide. And what I did to begin with was I put the drill pot from my art dot on top of each of these uh, so I knew what was in these and then I would just put the pot in the gap where this box was while I was using it so I knew exactly what was in each box. But then I thought actually it'd be quite cool to, to like almost like kit up with the in these like if they're colours that are quite small but frequent you know so you could actually then just use these um, and then I got to thinking well actually why can't we use these for the bigger um, quantities of drills and for the multi-placing and everything but I'll go on to that as I work with them okay. So I'm just going to start with some colours, okay, so I'll just uh, do these one by one and so you can get an idea and a feel for how they how they work. So I'm just going to put this um, kind of like um, quarter of an eye sort of symbol in this orange sim uh, one. Um, and so I'm just opening up the trap door. As you can see already the drills pour out. Now one thing I will say is that it's just like it's personal choice and everything but how much you put in these uh, will depend basically. It's really hard I found to do half and half. You can't leave drills in here really because it's really hard then to get the door back down. I guess you don't really need to but I'm a bit pedantic. I don't want them going in and out and everything so yeah so once you pour them down this is what you've got in the tray and if it's too much and I've probably gone a bit over much you know um, then obviously it will prevent you from using all of the tray so but but I've got some nice straight lines there okay and so I'm just gonna put release paper to protect my canvas and just put in them ahead now I'm single placing today um, you can multi place with these um, but I did find when I was using them that they weren't quite the quality wasn't quite um, as good as the add more zest I was finding that uh, the lines aren't quite as good uh, aren't quite as good I don't know quite why I'm getting such straight lines today but um uh, but yeah, so uh, I, I did find that there's maybe a little bit more wiggle room between the drills as there is in the other ones. Um, so yeah, that was just me. But obviously, if you're single placing, these are going to be amazing because it doesn't really matter, you know. So, but um, yeah, so... So I'm just single placing some of these eye symbols. I'm using my tweezers just because I prefer tweezers to the first round of single placing anyway. Like I said, I used to um, diamond paint like this all the time before I was introduced to Dax Amazing Multiplacers um, and I thought I'd be single placing for life so these boxes would have been quite useful back then I think you know because and it's only really because I'm multiplacing and one thing I think this tray it just isn't big enough um, to do a lot of multiplacing and I think it'll be quite annoying having to and you'd be refilling this box quite a lot I think if you've got big blocks of colour and everything and but it's not really designed for that 
it's supposed to be for like areas of confetti when you've got lots of color changes um but yeah so and the one thing i felt though was actually i bought but i bought a set of 10 um and i felt that i wanted more I felt that I was restricting myself to how many colours I could have in them and I was like having to pick and choose what colours whereas I wouldn't want, I'd prefer to basically have them all and I don't like a lot of faffing, you know, my diamond painting, I like everything to be kitted up as I need. Um, so actually, so what I'm going to do now is because this row of colours is actually right next to um, the eyes, I'm just going to... Um, I'm just going to um, go and do those. So this is a perfect demonstration for these how these work. So I'm just going to tip them all away. And put that away. And then get my other symbol out. Again, raise that up. And tip those out. And just line all those up. And then now I can very quickly do this row that's next to it. So obviously that would have taken a lot longer if I'd been opening a pot. Well, get rid of them all into a, uh, from a pot, from the last pot, then opening a new pot and then getting them in and everything. You know, so it is a bit quicker, but you have to have it all prepared and all ready and all kitted up like this, you know, and I find, I find, that I think, I don't think it would be useful if you're just, like, doing it for small, for areas of confetti, like, you were just, like, doing it there and then, because I think, like, you were preparing it, say, oh, yeah, I've got this, this, this thing, I'll just fill all my, bo all my uh, boxes up now, um, it would um, take as much time, really, to kit all up like that, for that for that square as it would you know to just opening the bottles and putting them into your trays and everything so so yeah it's um probably um if if you've got enough of these boxes then that'd be great but if you if you don't then maybe not the other thing i'd like to say is the cost um issue so these aren't cheap um, there, I think I paid about thirty pounds for this box of set of ten, and a um, and the tray, uh, or just over thirty pounds. I think uh, it might have been thirty two. I'll put the price um, in the description. Uh, I might li I might just put an over overlay in a minute. Um, but yeah, so oh yes, got some over here. Just get another release square. Yeah, so it yeah it's not cheap, and if you wanted to get loads of these boxes, and you think yeah I'm gonna yeah yeah I love these, I'm gonna kit up in the kit up with them and everything, then they do sell them. I think they're a little bit cheaper if you buy them in bulk, but it's like sixty boxes still cost about ninety pounds, and that to me is a huge cost prohibitive because like for instance if you get in the art dot boxes they're like, I think the um you could get a, a box of 200, a set of 240 for, um, how, it, how much is it? It depends on the price, but I think the most you pay is 40 or 50 quid for that, and it, that goes on sale quite a lot. So, you know, that that is a massive, I mean, I know you're getting something a little bit better, you know, because this is 3D printed, so it's, um, you know, it's been designed and then printed by somebody, so it's not, uh, and obviously the art dot boxes are mass produced, but, I still feel that is very expensive, and I, I yeah, um, and I think I did get a discount code um, when, for when I ordered, so I'm guessing that's pretty standard. But it was still only five percent, you know. So for the amount you spent, it's not a, that's not a lot to me, anyway. So I did think, oh, I want to get on the bandwagon and get these, but I'm not so sure I want to spend that amount of money because my money is precious. You know, I've, 
I don't exactly not have it, you know, but I want I want to spend my money wisely, you know, across my craft, you know. So and I've got a lot of things I like to buy. I like to buy kits. I like to buy accessories. Um, you know, I like to, I like to buy all the different um, my draw units and everything. Um, you know, there's always some little gimmick or thing you want to buy. You know, so I don't want to I don't want to put all that money that I would put into a kit maybe into into one one storage system so but that's just me you know but if you absolutely love these and you're just a single placer i think they'd be brilliant for you but i will oh sorry i've just missed a couple here there we go so as you can see i'm checkerboarding at the moment um so i'll just um, fill in the rest of these wiggly lines uh, in just a second. Yeah, so there we go. I'm working with cat's putty at the moment. Oh, sorry, the light's a bit dim in here. Yeah, it's a very dull day today. Um, it's actually gone quite cold well coldish now and I had to put my long sleeve top and my dungarees on you know uh, as you might have seen and I don't hope I'm not going to regret that and overheat you know because you know this British weather you never know what it's going to do but yeah so yeah so it's just a bit of a dull day so sorry about that if the light was a little bit low just before um yeah so yeah like I said I'm using cat's putty um the I'm still on the treat um, Halloween scent. Um, hopefully her pumpkin pecan waffles scent is gonna come today, which I'm really looking forward to try because that sounds like heaven to me, but yeah, so. Oops, sorry, there's a bit of a tag on that one. Let's trash that. Yeah, so switching between the boxes is great. Um, the the lid, the um, trapdoor bits are a bit stiff um, to begin with, but they seem to be loosening up and they're okay actually, to be honest. Um, yeah, so I don't really have many problems with them. Um, it's it's really the logistics of it and figuring out how you're gonna work with them and how you decide whether a color is gonna go into one of these boxes or whether it's not, you know, and um, if you've got like blo blocks of color blocking, you know, so you think, oh, well, they'll stay in the art dot boxes, you know, because obviously I'm not going to want to do color blocking in this small tray. And I did, I did send them a message saying, suggesting that, you know, you, um, it, how difficult it would be to multiplace, you know, and how sometimes you still multiplace, like a lot of these rows I could have multiplaced actually. Um, but because the tray is quite small, that makes it quite difficult. And could they develop a larger tray? And I did suggest maybe making this box twice the width, and then you could do a tray twice the width. And then, um, yeah. Oh, I missed all these, didn't I? <laughs> um, yeah, and then you could maybe do a longer tray as well. So that could make quite a big tray. And, and I mean, they took the idea, and they might develop it. We'll just have to see. But yeah, so it's quite enjoyable you know knowing you, and, and it's quite nice having all your colors you can't probably see but i've got them all lined up next to see if i can show you like get my finger out of the way uh, line it up again you see i've got them all lined up like that underneath each other so it is quite cool to have your colors like that and they almost look like the legend but um yeah, it's just figuring out how you're going to work, really, to me. Yeah, so... Yeah, so, so I mean, and the, um, the multiplacing, right, so I'll talk a little bit more about that. So, um, as for... Um, excuse me, there we go. So I had I have tried multiplacing in this box and it's okay, but 
I just don't think it's as good as my Admiral's S trace, to be honest. And as when I'm multiplacing, I'm just tended to do one a block of colour and everything, you know, or ones that have lots of bits of multiplacing. You know, I would I probably wouldn't use the this system. I'd probably need to go back to my Admiral's S trays until they've developed a bigger tray. Um but yeah, and like I said, it's just that balancing act between knowing what you're gonna multiplace and what you're gonna not. And when you started multiplacing, even these little sections of confetti, you do do it. And I just found the fact that it's the balancing act of how much is in this box and how much is going to end up in the tray. And if you put too much in the box, um, there's not enough room in the tray because the, the drills just all cover over at this bottom bit. So you don't get use of all of it. And it is a very, very small tray to me. So I think at the moment, these are only useful for single placing um, confetti. You know, I'd, I'll keep an eye on them in the future to see where they go. Again, I feel the price is too much of a prohibitive for me. You know, I think that is just too expensive for me to justify right now. But that's just me. Like I said, if you're a single placer and you're only single place um, and you really love this system, then yeah, by all means, go all in. It's a good quality product. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's not as <clears throat> good. Sorry, excuse my voice today. I'm going a little bit hoarse. I'm just getting over a chest infection. I do suffer with these um, quite badly, so I do apologise for that. Yeah, so I'll just swap over, do these eyes again. So yeah, I think that's my final thoughts, really. Um, I think the system works. It's really good. Um, but it's the logistics, you know, and how many boxes you really need to do a project and how you decide which ones you're going to use and which ones you're not. I think if you're going to be just um, temporarily using boxes, it doesn't really work because it's a lot of faffing, a lot of prep, a lot of time that's taken up to prepare that. Whereas I think you would just, it would take the same amount of time to use the system that you have, to be honest. Um, but if you were using or going all in and using it every single colour that you have, that would be really, really good. Um, and you had the money to do that, you know, fair enough. Um, and you're only a single placer, then yeah. Um, but, you know, I think just keep an eye on this company because, you know, maybe in the future they will be developing bigger trays and everything. And maybe going into the, mul the multi-placer angle, you know, so... And at the end of the day, it is it is a bit of a gimmick, you know, because at the end of the day, it doesn't take that long to swap between colours and how important is that to you, you know. And I had thought about buying more boxes, but to be honest, given that I multiplace quite a lot now and I love my Admiral's S trays so much, I think I will default back to them. I've enjoyed using these, but I just don't think it's there yet um, for my precise system that I use you know so um, they're good you know but um, I, but for the, for the pros and cons with the multi-placing they're not yet for me um, which is unfortunate because about a few months ago these would have been absolutely perfect for me and they will be perfect for many people that are like that with their placing but um, but yeah so Really, really, really um, good product, um, but depending on the sort of um, diamond painter you are, depends whether they're for you or not. Okay, I hope you like this review. I hope you've been able to see enough, actually. I've not placed a lot, a lot, you know, but I suppose I didn't need to just to show you how these um, work. But yeah, yeah, so um, there you go. You know, I hope, uh, I hope it's been useful. Um, if you found this video enjoyable, um, please consider in subscribing to my channel um, and um, uh, give, give me the thumbs up on the video if you liked it and hit the bell icon to get the uh, and all to get the notifications when I release a new video. Um, I'll be releasing another video on Friday or Saturday, um, which will be my progress update for the fam along. Um, you know, I do a weekly progress and whip and chat every week at the moment, you know, just um, to update you where what's what's going on with me and the project. Um, so ho hopefully you can see you can see me then. OK, as always, bye for now.